All right, let's move on to the Q&A portion of the stream. <clears throat> Switch over to my Madrina's view. Hello. Um, insert question here. All right, Chad, time for your favorite day of the month where I actually interact with you guys. Normally, I would ignore all of you, but because Madrina's is sponsoring me, to uh, treat you guys like human beings, I am going to um, do some questions and answers. So you can have Madrinas to thank for that. All right. So today's uh, stream is sponsored by Madrinas, the coffee brand. You too can get some of my delicious Madrinas coffee flavored right here over at, uh, is it madrinas.com? Let me, let me, let me, madrinas.coffee, right? Oh wait, it's not madrinas, wait, what is it? Madrinascoffee.com. Madrinas.coffee, no, madrinas coffee.com there you go madrinascoffee.com and you can get some of my special french toast flavor yeah, it's got my branding on it look look at that this guy's toast that's me look at that it's got my colors too and it's really easy to make if you like uh having instant coffee if you're too lazy to go make uh, those French press grind your own bean kind of deal. All you need is a bottle. And all you gotta do is put a scoop of my coffee powder right into the bottle. Look at that, bada boom, bada bing. Pour some water in there and make sure the lid is on tight. I like to use a little bit of water because I like my flavors a little stronger. Make sure it's closed. Give it a good shake. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. Delicious French toast coffee ready to drink. Mm, delicious. All right, let's get to the questions. Remember, you can make sure your question gets read if you order some Madrina's coffee, my flavor, right now. And I believe it is 50% off if you use code TOAST. All right, let's get started. Where's Lily Pichu? Lily. Lily. Lily Pichu. Lily, Lily Pichu. Lily Pichu, are you, are you there? Lily Pichu. Are you around? Where are you at? Lily Pichu. Lily. My check, Lily. Oh, maybe I'll do one question until uh, she gets on. Damn, Tozy got stood up. Not the first time. Have you guys ever been stood up before? I imagine it is a terrible feeling. Like if you plan a date with like a girl and they just don't show up and they just block you. That must feel like the worst experience ever. Like she doesn't have even have the courtesy courtesy to say, "Oh, sorry, I can't make it." Like I'm not feeling. They just stand you up and ghost you. Ooh, man, that will really make you question your self worth, eh? Anywho, uh, first question is from Mega Manx. What has your what has been your favorite video to film and upload? Probably my my final Among Us video 
because uh, I spent a lot of time filming that one with Broden. By a lot of time, I mean uh, one day. Hello. Hello, Lily Pichu. Wait, I can't hear you. Hello? That's, that's I cause... hear you now. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm good. Are you going to do Q&A? Yeah, we're doing some questions and answers. You like answering questions? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I can help you. Um, yeah. Uh, are you good at it? I'm really good at it. Okay. What has been your favorite video to film and upload? Actually, you should answer these questions. No, 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 no. I'm going to answer it and then you answer it. How about you answer questions and I'll just play background music for you? That's not... Chat, who wants to hear background music? I know your chat's like all saying me, 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 me. It's complete silence. Oh. It's weird. Okay, well, I already answered that question, so I'm going to move on to the next one. All right, question number two from Layla. How does it feel to be the best Among Us and Fall Guy streamer on Twitch? Yo, why am I even here? I'll meet you at 7, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, no, no, no. You said you would, like, answer some of these questions. Okay, all right. I'm going to answer as you, okay? Okay, go ahead. What was the question again? How does it feel to be the best Among Us player and the best Fall Guys player? Well, you know, it isn't easy being at the top, but I do manage. I think a lot of my success comes from my intelligence and my ability to see things outside the box. That's something I'm afraid that I can't say the same for my peers. So yeah, that definitely gives me an edge over everyone else. Pretty accurate, actually. Really? I was parodying you. Okay, go on. What's your favorite Taiwanese street snack? You should know this one. You've been to Taiwan. Remember when we went to Taiwan? Japan. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing bad happened on that trip. Yeah. So what was your favorite Taiwanese street snack when you were in Taiwan? Which is definitely not a country, but it's just a place. It's an island. The island of Taiwan is one of me. Aren't you Taiwanese? Um, um, uh, my favorite Taiwanese snack is, um... And by Taiwanese, you don't mean, like, country Taiwanese. You mean, like, the place. You are treading on some lines here, island. and I don't know which line you're treading on right now. Um, I like... What was that? Ugh. What was it? The scallion pancake? Oh, yeah, the scallion pancake is good, because they kind of, like, fry it in oil first. Yeah, with the egg inside. Yeah, well, the, the answer is you. My favorite Taiwanese snack is definitely a uh, stinky tofu. That's racist. You liked it. Wait, I thought you liked I it. I don't like stinky tofu, bro. Well, you had it though, didn't you? Yeah, as a joke. I didn't know. How was I supposed to? You just looked like you were enjoying it. Uh, oh, uh, there's a great question coming up from Max SEU. Have you considered being a model? Never, actually, no. No, um, he's not talking about you. He's talking about me. Oh, I think if I really wanted to try, I could definitely succeed at being a model. I have been working out recently. So if any modeling agencies would like to hire me out there, I am available. Is there any, like, streamer that became a model? <sighs> Isn't Sydney a model? Well, she's a model who became a streamer. Um... Uh. To answer your question, yeah, I have considered being a model. So, uh, you know, if you guys ever need any, uh, you know, nude models, I am available. How long does it take for you to poop? I like, like to take my time. No, no, I'm asking you as the late Pichu now. Oh, oh, me? Um, pretty fast, actually. I'm like in and out. Yeah, sometimes you go to the bathroom and I can't tell whether or not you pissed or you pooed because it's the same. It's really fast, right? Time. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Uh, it makes me think you're not even wiping, I'll be okay, honest. Okay, okay, first of all, it's rude. It's really rude. I do wipe, okay? <laughs> That's really weird. You don't wipe, do you? 
I, what kind of wipe are I? Do you wipe until there's literally nothing left? Or do you wipe like 80% and it's like, yeah, the last 20%. It's fine. It's it's gonna be too too much effort well, to get out of. Obviously, it. wipe till there's nothing left. Sometimes it takes a long time, you know. Like sometimes I'm pretty sure if you pinch it off midway and you try and wipe, it just keeps coming. And you're wiping and you're wiping. It's like a marker. Okay, maybe you should like work on your diet so your poops are like more solid and they come out easier, right? Yeah, true. I think also bidets really help. Do you use a bidet? Well, Michael's place has a bidet. It's really nice. I don't know. Have I told you about my dream of having the cleanest colon in the world? No. So I'm obsessed with the idea of having a completely clean bowel. And one of my plan is to swallow like a ball that will push everything out of my intestines. Like Indiana Jones, how there's a boulder and it's going down a hallway and it's like pushing everything out. It's like that, but in my colon. Uh-huh. Are you still sponsored? I am, I am. I mean, yo, coffee makes you want to go to the bathroom. You know, it all ties in together. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a thread here. Okay, uh, next question. Uh... Um, the person helping with my question added a note. Hey, Jeremy, do you know what an enema is? I, 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 I do know what an enema is, but I, I'm not okay with the idea of sticking something in my butt, you know? Have you ever had an enema, Lily? No, I haven't. I, I saw this show on, um, the TLC channel of people having coffee enema. <gasps> I should have an enema with my Madrina's coffee flavor to get it in my system right away. That is not um, official company stance. This is my personal thoughts. Have you ever had an enema toast? No. Would you want to have an enema? I, I know, I, I saw this TikTok of people like cleaning out their ears by spraying water into it. And like they shoot water into your ear and it like blasts everything out. And like there's apparently so much crap in there. It's crazy. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff in your ear canal. And yeah, make sure it's done by a professional. Don't go blasting water in your ear. That's, you're going to hurt yourself. And then you're, uh, you're, on your... My manager is saying you should get a mega d bidet that just blasts water straight into your anus. And she also wrote, I hear, I hear it can be pleasurable for some people. Your okay. manager sent you that. Yeah. Like I have a document of the question and she just adds mega bidet that blasts water into anus. All right, uh, next question before I lose my sponsorship. How do you enjoy your coffee? Do you drink coffee, Lily? I do, I do, I do. I like coffee a lot. Okay, uh, how, do you, how do you like it? Like, do you get the, you get the cappuccino or you get it like the cold brew? I think like, um, like just a black coffee and then like a bit of like oat milk or almond milk, you know? I was talking with Lud about this. Apparently there is no nutritional benefit from oat milk. It's just yeah, calories. Just it just tastes most like milk though in coffee, in my opinion. Like, it tastes the best. But it's but yeah, pretty it's high fun. in calories and you don't it really it's... get any upside. Yeah, but you're also not, I don't know, killing cows maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I, I've been on that almond milk grind. It's, I also it's... like soy milk in coffee. That's really good. But just not cow milk. No, I don't really like milk milk. Is it because of the cow killing? I just never liked milk. Mm. Except for, um, uh, like when I go abroad to Korea or something, I like the milk there. It tastes better. Or it tastes different. Is it because the Korean cows have different kinds of nips? I don't think that's it. I just, I don't know. It just tastes like creamier and lighter to me. But I don't, I don't know if it's about like the cow's n n nips. It's probably all the kimchi they're feeding it. <laughs> <laughs> What? 
it's okay. I'm five percent Korean. I can make jokes like that. You can't. <laughs> you're only five percent. You're not allowed. <laughs> Ooh, that's some spicy milk. Next up, if you could learn anything with the snap of a finger, what would it be? Oh, probably like an instrument or like another language. Any wow, there's a lot I, I would do for with that. Okay, I, I just I just need one. Just give me one answer. Like like how proficient are we talking? Ooh, like um, like you spent five years learning. Five years, probably like a language then. Oh. I would I'll like to Spanish. learn how to sing. You could do that. No, I am too insecure to do that. Ah, that's just your own insecurity, though. Like you could sing. I'm like a guy who wants to go to the gym, but is too afraid to go because they're afraid that people would judge them even though honestly people at the gym don't really care it's kind of like that i see i see what do you think the best part of the otv camping trip was and would you go again um i like that everyone had like a part you know mm -hmm. everyone did something i can't I believe sydney shit in the woods yeah, I I will hand it to her. That is pretty brave of her. Just Have stop. you ever shit in the woods? What? <laughs> you know where I shit before. Yeah, never mind. We I, had a I whole never... video about it. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. For... I, I learned as soon as I asked you the question. I would definitely shit in the woods if it was like an emergency though. Well, yeah, if it was an emergency, I'm sure any of us would shit in the woods. Yeah. I like the, the sleeping part where we, like, it was miserable, but I we think it was fun, together. yeah, to suffer together. Let me tell you, sleeping in that tent was absolutely miserable. It Wait, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad. We were all, like, huddled together in a little sleeping bag. It was kind of cute, right? It was right? just too cold. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was the problem. It was just too cold. It was freezing, but it was, like, you know, it was, it was cozy, right? No, it was just cold. Oh, okay. That's why I slept next to Yvonne, so that ruined a lot of things. Why did it ruin? What did it ruin for you? She snores like a motherfucker, bro. Does she really? Yeah, man. I had to cover her mouth a couple of times during the night. <laughs> you're and just I exposing really Yvonne. I really thought about just suffocating her. What the? No, you're just, he's just joking. He's joking. No question, just love your flavor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, here's one that I think you would be pretty opinionated upon. What content creator trait do you value the most? What trait do you think will make a creator successful if they had it? Um, selfishness. You think if a creator is selfish, they would be more successful? Okay, for real, um, ability to network, I would say. Like how charismatic you are networking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would, that would help you a lot. Being able to uh, know new trends, what is like what everyone's doing, also helps a lot. Mm -hmm. What about you? I think I call it the X factor, you know? You know, the X factor, like either you have it or you don't, you know, the X factor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you've mentioned this before. Some people just have it and some people don't. And if you don't got it, you'll probably peak at a 2K Andy kind of deal. But some people, you know, they got it, you know. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Would you say you had the X Factor? Oh, I have the X Factor. That's never been in question. I know I'm successful and I will Wait, be successful. Wh what makes you think you have the X Factor? What about you? Because it's the belief 
that you're gonna be important, you know? Because most people don't have that kind of thinking. They're like, oh, I'm just happy to be here. You have to believe that you're gonna be Hokage. You think Naruto would have been Hokage if he didn't believe he was, like, he was so confident. Like, he told everyone, believe it. So you think, so you believe you're gonna be, like, someone important. Yeah, I'm gonna be Hokage. What's the equivalent of Hokage like in real life? Like, what is that to you? I wish, my hope is that one day there will be a statue built of me. Oh, a statue? Like, uh, what, what kind? Like, where exactly? Like, what would it, why would people build a statue of you? Because I invented a way to preserve Among your brain. Oh. To preserve your brain after death so that you can live on forever. And you think you're going to accomplish that? Like, this is the path you're on? Yeah. By being a Twitch streamer? Yeah, I need to get income. I need to get capital first. I need money first. Okay, all right. So, yeah, you got to have, you know, the X factor. But realistic answer is you got to know what the people want. If you can figure out what the people want, that's half the battle. A lot of streamers suck because they don't know what the people want. A lot of streamers think, hey, you know what will make my stream pop off if I go around telling people, hashtag, I got chill vibes, hashtag, support a small streamer today. Like, no, who, what audience are you serving? Do you think a viewer goes around like, God, I can't, I can't wait to find a small streamer today that has chill vibes? Nobody is looking for that. You're serving up a plate of shit and wondering why no one's coming to your store. Uh, so the ability to know what people want. What do people want? If you can have that way of thinking, you'll be a good content creator because you'll be able to serve food that people want. Right. So that's what separates good streamers from irrelevant ones is whether or not they can have that thinking of like, okay, I'm good at X, I'm good at Y, I'm kind of okay at Z. Do people want to watch any of this? And if not, how do I like grow myself or like how do I, how do I learn skills that makes me serve up content that people want? And let me tell you, people don't want that people don't want to watch like a low plat streamer struggle in Valorant. That is not fun for anyone. But people will watch a Radiant streamer, even if they have very little personality. If you're number one Radiant in Valorant, people will want to watch that. So figure out what people want to watch. Okay, thank you for coming, coming to my TED Talk. Any audiobook recommendation? Uh, no, I don't read. Do you read? Um, I read Reddit. That's... No, I guess not. Uh, we listen to movie recaps, which is kind of like an audio book of a Wikipedia there. article. Hi there, mystery recap here. Today I'm going to tell you a 2009 German sci-fi film titled Nuts. Watch <laughs> out and take care. Spoilers ahead. <laughs> Watch out and take care. Yeah, we we should do one of those one day. I wanted to do one. Um, oh, Michael's asking chivalry one or two. Two, the one on Steam. Also, uh, tell Michael will be thirty minutes late, and I'm so very sorry. What hobbies do you have? Uh, none. Content is my life. His hobby is sitting alone in his room, staring at the ceiling, thinking about his life. Like Sasuke does. Like Sasuke. I'm He's very like convinced that he is Sasuke. I'm um, going through my Sasuke art right now. Yeah, you said that like every year. You say this every year. I, I actually think you say this every year. Like, yeah, this year I'm going through my Sasuke art. Or I hate everyone. Like every single year you do this. I do hate everyone. Because I'm okay. on, on my Sasuke art. Um, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I like drawing. I like playing with my dogs. I like playing piano. I like playing games. I like reading stuff. I like sleeping. Talking with friends. Listening to music. 
Oh, here's a spicy one. Ever thought about leaving offline TV? Yeah. Are you answering for me or are you answering as you? Both. <laughs> Wait, you thought about leaving OTV? But oh, we're come like on. I'm sure family. everyone in OTV has thought about leaving OTV at one point. No, I haven't. <laughs> yes, you have. You've thought it the most. That, that's not true. And it's, okay, you're one of the most. Nah. I love OTV. You love it, but you've thought about leaving it. Yeah, because it's filled with children. And I'm a man, and I need to cut off my connection to my friends so that I can go on my Sasuke arc. Tell me how you want that statue of yourself again. Yeah, and I can only achieve that by breaking all bonds of friendship. But Sasuke comes back. You know yeah, that, I mean, right? I'll come back after I get my statue made, bro. Also... Okay. I do think about it. I wish I could just make my own org sometimes because I like the idea of raising children into productive members of society. That is the most appealing thing to me because I kind of done it with some streamers, but I kind of just let them like fly out the bird's nest. And now I have empty nest syndrome. You should get a kid. Like an actual child. Yeah, yeah. Get, get a kid. Yeah, and you can mold them. Yeah, but a kid takes too long. I have to do like 10 years of just raising them to be able to speak. With streamers, I can get some like 20-year-old, 50-viewer Andy and say, Yo, you want to come down to California? I'll put you up in a mansion for one whole year with five other streamers and I won't even ask anything of you besides your loyalty okay so you just want their like undying loyalty undying is a strong word I want, want ride or die homies that's undying loyalty ride or die unwavering firm solid yeah I guess I do want that like I want I ride or die homies don't you don't think you have ride or die homies right now? I have like a couple, but I think the problem is these ride or die homies are also caught up in like the political landscape of our friend group in the sense that like for example, if one friend was to wrong me, they would be put in an awkward situation where like, "Oh, I don't want to get involved. I'm friends with both of you." Even if it was like if it was outside force, they'd be like, "Yo, I got you, toast." But because it would be coming, like, this cord would be coming from the inside, they would try uh, and stay out of it. I think you need a rider to help me that's not in the streaming industry, then. No, they can't be in the streaming industry. They just need to not be in our friend group. Okay. So that is my dream, to create, essentially, um, you know how Sasuke uh, found his own team, uh, Hawk? With the, the strong guy and the sword guy and the girl who sucks his blood. It's like that. Like, yeah, but they weren't, they weren't like permanent though. He left them eventually. <laughs> yeah, but they had undying loyalty to him. Yeah, but he like left them. And he came back to his original friend group anyway. Yeah, but it's still something I would like to go through, you know? Okay. All right. Yeah. See, you're, okay, you know, fair. Okay. So, Chad, if you know of any 50 viewer Andy who wants to live in California and imagine for free, let me know. All I ask is their loyalty. What's the one thing you regret the most? That's a dark question. What I regret the most? Oh, why don't you go first? Um... I don't have any regrets. I live life a quarter mile at a time and I never look back. All right, go ahead. Cool. Um, what do I regret the most? I don't know. Yeah, that's my answer. I don't know. Regrets. I also try to live my life like look forward. I wish I was on Twitch when Among Us popped off. But that was out of uh, my control. 
Well, you you chose to sign on to. Well, I didn't choose to like play Among Us and expect it to pop off. Oh yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. If I knew it was gonna pop off, I would just saved it for when I came back to Twitch and then started playing it. True. True. Do you need a personality to become a successful streamer? Um, I would say if you don't have like anything else, like gaming skills, right? Or anything. Yeah. You could be really good at games. You could be really attractive. Something. It's not enough though. By itself. Yeah. I By itself, no. But I think it's enough at the very start to, you know, that's like your appeal. To but to keep a people personality hmm? like a personality uh people watch people like streamers if they're really good at games right like if that their skill true. level is like super high yeah they don't have to necessarily have a personality right yeah but like I said earlier, chat, every small streamer is going to sell you on their personality. Because there's no streamer who wants to make his going to say, oh, I have a bad personality. They all think they have a good personality. So personality is kind of like calling yourself a nice guy when you try and date girls. It's like, oh, I'm a nice guy. It's like, bro, that's the bare minimum. You're just saying something that everyone should have. So yeah, as a streamer, you're going to be like, oh, I got a good personality. Like, no fucking shit. You and 500,000 other streamers have a good personality. Give me something more. I agree with that. Uh, yeah, it's very saturated now. Yeah. A personality, like a personality is base minimum. Hmm? It's base minimum. Yeah, you need like other stuff too. I agree. Like... All right, next up, what's the last thing you Googled? Let me check. Last thing I Googled was TikTok aspect ratio Premiere Pro. Oh, wow. You are doing what some about editing? You? Um, <laughs> Girls Generation Jessica. <laughs> Do I, why? I heard she's going solo. I'm like, who? Who is she? <laughs> okay, I like your honesty. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You know those Korean like earwax removal sticks? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Hold you on. Should, we should go see one of those ear doctors and have them blast our ear with water. I would like that. Oh God, I swear. All that like gunk. I, ha I, I think I have an ear infection or something. It's been itching for like a month. Your ear is probably like completely clogged. That is epic. More to suction out. And then we eat it. Yeah. We eat our own earwax question mark. <laughs> we make candles out of it. <laughs> That's gross. Stop. I'm just joking. When are you coming to Vancouver? Uh... I don't know. Chinese New Year's. You ever been to Vancouver? No. Uh, I've never, I've never been to Vancouver. I heard good things about it, though. But you've been to Canada because that's the first time we've met. Wait, what? You, well, you, we first met in Canada. Yeah, Toronto. Yeah, good times, right? Oh, yeah. Do you think back on it fondly? Oh, sorry. I was answering a question from uh, Albert. What, what did you say? Oh, nothing. I was just asking if you look back on that time fondly. Yeah. It's weird because we will never have that kind of relationship again. What do you mean by that? I didn't even know you. <laughs> like, we're, we're polite to each other. You're still polite, right? I'm still polite to you. But not at that level. Yeah, because we were strangers. I had no idea who you were. 
I'm like, what now you knew who I was. You knew, you knew. I promise you, you I had. Who I was. You, knew. you just didn't want to. I know it hurts that you heard of me, girl. and I didn't hear of you. I know that hurts your pride. I was I, averaging 12k viewers. I had then. no idea who you were. Okay, like, you I were some 3k Andy, all right? Yeah, you know. I, I, you understand the hierarchy of Twitch, okay? No, because like, do you know everyone on Twitch with higher view counts than like than yeah, you? I mean, twelve k is a lot, you know. Twelve k puts me at I the top one percent. I don't doubt that, but I genuinely just had no idea who you were. Um, yeah, it was cool. I mean, yeah, you it was probably a really exciting time for you. No, I you were a stranger. You were just like a shy Asian dude who was really good at mafia. Yeah, because I was... Oh, man, it was setting up for Among Us five years ago. <laughs> we I knew back then. The Mafia games. You probably were like, wow, this guy is really logical. I did think that, yes. my I was like, I don't know who he is, but he seems really, like, logical and smart. Damn, it's been in the work for five fucking years, baby. Did you think I was smart when you met me? Uh, next question. Are you planning on traveling anywhere this year? Uh, we got a Japan trip. Uh, yeah, yeah. Japan trip is coming up next month. It's going to be really fun. You think so? Excited for Japan? Yeah, yeah. I am very excited. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm super excited. I can't wait. Uh, what's the... Apparently, um, you have to be naked when you go to an onsen. Okay, so you're going to just bond with all the OTV dudes. And yeah, because we're supposed to go to an onsen. And that means I have to see Scar's penis, Michael's penis, Broden's penis, John's penis. Like, I just have to That's... look at it. I think once you look at it, it's not going to be like... Like, you can't even that. bring underwear in there, apparently. Like, you actually just have to look at their penises. You could wear a towel. You don't... I think that's fine. No, 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 no. Like, you you got to go in naked. Like, into the onsen. That's not a bad thing, though, right? And the water is kind of clear. Okay. I mean, it's just a... It's just a... I mean... You have... I mean, like... You, it's a boy's bonding time, right? We can't go back. It's not like... You can't pour the milk back in the bottle kind of deal. I can never not know what their penises look like after that day. Only if you pay, like, focus on it. <laughs> it's You're gonna draw me in like a magnet, bro. And that I'm was... not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, no one wants to look at it. But if you know there's a penis in your peripheral vision, you're gonna want to look at it. That's cool. You you could look at it. Like it's not everyone has one, right? Like all of you. And what if I have the smallest one? How do I how do I I'm sure your friends that? wouldn't judge you for having the smallest penis. I think they would accept you for who you are. No, I know girls, man. Girls all talk. They compare their boyfriends' penis. Girls aren't the one looking at your penis other dudes are right no i i've seen these girl talks they're like oh you know how is it with you know x and y and she's so like, you think if you go on the hot spring with the dudes you think the word's gonna come out of your penis size my manager is saying how she has never talked about penis sizes with her girlfriends but yeah, I, it's just Wait, you've talked about... Have you talked about penis sizes with your this girls? This is not a common topic with girls. You're deflecting well, like you're Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. That's not the point, okay? No, God. Everyone's going to know how big my penis is. Fuck. I'm going to know how big Scar's penis is. What if it's huge? What's wrong with that? Wait, what? I don't oh. know. You should, you'll be happy for him, right? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If I, if I knew Scar's penis was huge, I would tell, like, all the single ladies out there. <laughs> okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take a big look at it and get it out of the way. Like a real good gander. 
Um, how do you start your day? Uh, I usually have a banana. What about you? Uh, play with my dogs. <laughs> All right, next. Yeah. Are you and Lily best friends? You know, I would say so, yeah. We're pretty close. I mean, I would, I would say so. But Lily wouldn't because she, she has this thing where she can't make herself vulnerable to me. So she keeps me at an arm's length by calling us close friends, even though we're kind of best friends. Or, no, no, that's, that's not it. It's and not, it's very it's understandable very because she has You're... been hurt in the past. And as a, her best friend, I accept that about her. Go to the next question. Sue's asking, but don't you keep your friends at an arm's length because you don't want to be vulnerable? Damn it, Sue! You just typed a question. I'm sorry. That's... It's all projection, isn't it? <gasps> no, no. We, we've had this conversation before. Also, you do I... keep people at arm's length, though. You do. Will you help solo a boss for me in Elden Ring? No, I don't play anymore. And oh. if you can't even beat a boss by yourself in Elden Ring, you're trash and you shouldn't be playing it. You're a first ballot Hall of Fame streamer for sure. Oh, that's, that's really nice. I agree, but I don't know if the world will see it like that because the world kind of focuses on the obvious things people do. But I... I am definitely a Hall of Fame with how much I contribute behind the scene. Cool. Chat. chat my manager saying is my manager is saying that his name is Saint of Sarcasm, so it's probably sarcasm. That's cool. Do you think you would be in the Hall of Fame of streaming? Oh, absolutely. What would you say your contribution to the industry was? Never mind, maybe I wouldn't. What's the cruelest thing you've ever done to a friend? Nothing. I don't think I've ever done anything mean to my friends. What about you? Cruel? Yeah. I don't know if I have. You have. I've seen it. Really? Yeah. Something cruel. Well, kind of. I would use the word bitchy, you know. Cacao me. <laughs> Cacao me right now. Message me what it is. Yeah, yeah I'll discord it to you. Are you just matching? Oh, and that other time. And let's not forget about that time. Which then led to that time. Alright, send it to you. Okay, that was just once, okay? You can't bring that up. I don't think that was cruel. It's not cruel. Lily it's... Pichu is actually one of the worst person behind the scenes. Oh my god, people are gonna believe it if you say it! When you get cancelled one day, I want you to know that no one's gonna speak up in defense of you. You know how Ellen DeGeneres got cancelled? And notice how like no celebrity said anything on behalf of Ellen? Are you comparing me to Ellen? Yeah, you're gonna be like Ellen. Oh my god! You're Ellen DeGeneres. What? Like people love you and think you're this like huge positive force for the scene. And it's going to get exposed that you're kind of a bad person. And no one's going to say anything. Because they're going to be silently agreeing. It's like, finally. Finally. But it is not today, though. One day, Lily Pichu, you will be exposed for you. Oh. oh. I don't think I've done anything like that bad in my life. Hey, tell us, big fan since your Hearthstone days. Was wondering, was there any streamers that inspire you to start streaming? <laughs> I took a lot of inspiration from Kriparian. 
Hi, uh, Michael. Uh, hello. Hello. Yo. Michael, if I ever got canceled, would you speak up in public in defense of me? I would actually speak up against you. I would probably be the biggest proponent against you. I'd say, it, yeah. It would She's way lot. worse in private. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what are we playing? Oh, uh, we have 15 minutes of Q&A left. He's doing a sponsored Would you stream like to segment. answer some of these questions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. How often do you work out? Do you still work out after the boxing? I do. Not as much, but I'm trying to keep it because I know that I'll never work out that hard again in my life. And it's kind of fucking with me that, like, this will be probably the peak of exercise that i'm at so i'm trying to keep it as much as i can yeah how's working out with you you work uh, out more than me at this point yeah uh, it's tiring it makes yeah, you value value the days where you don't work out yeah right it's like holy shit i have a full day yeah because it's like it's like a job almost like it reminds me of when I worked a nine to five job. Yeah. Because I have to exercise for an hour like five times a week. I'm like, oh, this is what real people go through with their job. And like when I don't work out, it's like a weekend. Yeah. You get you get to like mix it up with a weekend. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Lily? How much uh how much do you exercise? Yeah, how's your exercise? Um well, I used to, uh, well, I'll have you know, I spent two whole days running a mile. It took you two days to run a mile? No, 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 no. <laughs> day, I know. I, I ran and walked a mile and I did this for two days straight. Are you going to do it today again? To keep no, it going? I'm tired. You should do it today to keep it going. But it's so hard. What's uh? What is an underrated Twitch channel you enjoy watching? Twitch.tv slash Michael Reeves. <sighs> that you enjoy watching. Oh, like right, you don't stream. Mm. You have a little. Mm. I have to go to the bathroom, beer, but I don't watch a lot of Twitch. What about YouTube channel? Ooh, um, there's this Binding of Isaac YouTuber who I watch every day before bed. It's like my, it's like what I watch while I'm waiting for the melatonin to kick in. His mm -hmm. name is like Lavenkos, Lavenkos. I watch, I don't know how he does it. I'm expecting for like the day he takes a break uploading. But he hasn't missed a day in like, I don't know, like months. Like he just uploads once a day exactly with a very nice little clickbait thumbnail and title and it drags my attention. And is it just like entire Isaac run? Yeah, it's a whole Isaac run, but it's nice because he doesn't talk, he or she, I guess, doesn't talk. Um, they just put subtitles and I read the subtitles and they're n never like cringy and they're always like kind of poignant to the gameplay and just whatever's. It's quite nice. It's a nice relaxing time. Oh, so there's no yeah, it's... talking. Yeah, just no talking. Just some good old Isaac gameplay. Helps me sleep. What about you? You have a Twitch channel that you like watching? Um, there's this Hearthstone streamer that has the average is 200 views. It's like this yeah. Korean kid, uh, Che Woon. And like, yeah. I don't even play Hearthstone. But I just like watching a Hearthstone player that is just very quiet. Not yelling. Not yelling. And just like when someone says like, oh, hey, thank you so much. And it just goes back to playing Hearthstone. Like I appreciate that kind of streaming content because like top, top streamers are all very like loud and like Animated. attention grabbing yeah so it reminds me of simpler times of just here's a guy just, who plays hearthstone just play the goddamn game yeah <laughs> yeah i feel that 
Yeah, I kind of like the that YouTuber for the same reason. What was your favorite moment of streaming? Uh... Of streaming? Yeah, streaming. Um, I liked finishing like, like projects for the 5, in Minecraft, bits. and people seeing that. That was nice. I think Minecraft is the, the ultimate streaming content for me personally. Because I can just like get completely sucked into a thing, and sometimes like chat help me out. It was quite nice. Yeah. We should play Minecraft again. It's... Yeah, you you guys have the wardens out. The new Wait, it's out? update. Yeah, I no one ever talked about it. It's out. It's just like it's out now. Let's uh, play Minecraft again. I think the problem with Minecraft is that it's become so content that. I don't know how to go back to treating it like Minecraft, you know? <laughs> like a video game. Yeah, like a video game, because it's been so like, oh, Minecraft server, it's gonna pop off, and it's gonna like, we're gonna invite this streamer and that streamer, and it's like, let's get Dream on, let's get Tommy in it on it kind of deal, right? Tommy. And like, Tommy. And, and you learn to just have a regular old minecraft server and you just... i know and just play the game yeah and i don't know how to like capture that feeling i don't do that anymore yeah because even if it's like small people are gonna hey hey can i play it's like oh why wasn't i invited to the server and so it's, it's all this like extra factor where you're like yeah M honestly more of the brain power is on the external factors than the actual game yeah which I do not like. I do not like the thought of that one bit or manage being the one who manages that. Yeah, speaking of uh, Dream and Tommy in it, during my panel at VidCon, on the, like the big stage, when people would be quiet, we would just yell Dream and Tommy in it and the crowd would fucking this. go crazy. You guys would I just say their names. Yeah, we just said, here, wait, watch this. Tommy in it, and they would go, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking great. I remember this, yeah. Yeah. I liked your panel. You threw salmon pieces into the audience. Oh, one of the guys in our panel threw salmon chunks at audience members. Why? <laughs> Thank God. Ate it, he, too. He brought it on stage and asked if anybody wanted it, and he was eating it, and he just started throwing it at people who said yes and security didn't stop him so that was good it made it more interesting yeah all right next question do you have any specific goal in life that you want to make happen by the end of this year uh my short-term goal is to have an event on my twitch channel that average that has at least a hundred thousand viewers wow there you go what about you lily you got any uh specific goals to reach as a streamer by the end of this year? As a streamer? Yeah. Not as a streamer, no. As a human being. <laughs> what about you, Michael? Um, I would like to um, have produced three YouTube videos this year. <gasps> three? Three! Yeah, okay, buddy. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen. That's <laughs> one every two months. <laughs> oh, Michael. What? Holy <laughs> copium! <laughs> Come on, I think it's doable. It's doable, sure, yeah. I think, I mean, I think it's, for me, <laughs> I think I can do that. There's no three. way you do three. You can do There's... two. I, I cap it at two. We're going to Japan, and yeah, that's going to be tough, but maybe we can do something in Japan. I was thinking of, like, can we do any, like, weird, quirky stuff? We would you did. would you upload something that's not like robotics to your channel? Um, I have before. Okay. Like uh just but it was like something quirky and fun. Like I showed oh. the uh hotel that I used hotel, to like just, right? just walk into. Yeah. And Yeah, but that was a really good vlog. Quirky. You should do it again. People would love that. If it's a really good vlog then yeah. Yeah, in Japan. But if it's not a really epic vlog then Then you send me your footage. <laughs> yeah 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 but yeah three videos no yeah. maybe there's some uh japanese robots they have a lot of that sexual vr robot stuff what? they do that could be cool yeah 
Yeah. Like robotic maybe... love dolls. Oh, maybe we can do something with that. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh huh. We could like electrify one as a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Check out this guy. <laughs> What is the most extravagant purchase you've made? Huh. Extravagant. I mean, the robot dog is definitely up there. I oh, think, that yeah, huge. that's that was the most superfluous, like unnecessary, lacking in utility generally that, yeah, for yeah. sure. Probably for you too, right? <laughs> Since we both bought it. Yeah, yeah, but it's cool. It's awesome. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Like, not Maybe a lot of should... people own a robot dog. Exactly. We should, we should revive that thing. Yeah, but it... And you guys should use it for it's something. It's so much work to learn how to code. <laughs> you can just do it with a remote. Do something with a remote. I think the content is more just like... You should just capture people's reaction to, like, the base robot dog. And yeah. Like, one of my dreams is to, like, find one of those Karens that, like, mm -hmm. absolutely blows her lid seeing a robot yes. dog at oh. a park kind of deal it's like gold if you yeah. find one of those yeah what about you lily um mm. <sighs> never bought like a crazy thing I bought a Burberry jacket. Mm. That was pretty crazy. Oh, That's you bought sure. uh, Michael his Balenciaga Fortnite t-shirt. That's true, the Balenciaga. That was good. That was a good gift. How much do you think it cost them to make that shirt? Like 20 bucks, bro. Less, um, maybe. Surely. Yeah. No All right. Way. Three more questions. What would, you be, what would you consider to be the most embarrassing moment you have ever experienced in your life? Most ah. embarrassing moment in my life? Yeah. I don't know. I, I did tell a girl I liked her once and her reaction was, oh no. And I oh, felt no. Pretty, yeah, that felt pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> and like, Ooh. it made me resent Koreans because she was Korean. Okay. That, oh, that, that, that makes that's up. Just that's just a step too that. far. You know, you didn't have to go there. And she definitely let me on. Oh, you're one of those nice guys. No, she definitely led me on. She was holding onto my arm at the movies. Two-faced bitch. She just wanted attention. What about you guys? Any embarrassing moments? Yeah, Michael, what's your most embarrassing moment? Um, Talking to that... Easily talking to that um, startup house. <gasps> oh, easily. really? Like very... Probably without... I think without, yeah. Any competition, yeah. Wow. That was so bad. It, it looked so much better in the video. But yeah, like was, in person. It was super. They were pitying oh. you. They felt bad. Oh, for me. yeah. They felt bad point. for me at some yeah. point. Yeah. You should really Very snap for it. peak cringe. Yeah, I do still have it. I will. I think I will defrag my hard drive before <laughs> I let that out. <laughs> it's going in the shredder. How about you, Lily? Embarrassing moment. I have a lot. I have to pick and choose. Oh, um, probably one of the most is when I was in college and I wanted to talk about League of Legends with these guys. And they were talking about Nidalee. And I, and I, and I said, hey, Nidalee, I play League 2, what's your summoner name? And they looked at me like really crazy, but I, I doubled down and said, hey, like my summoner name is this, you guys want to play League? And they said, we were talking about Italy, going to Italy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And, then, and then I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, bye. And I just like ran away. And I never talked to strangers about League of Legends again after that. Oh, yeah, now that is cringe. It's fucking yeah. cringe. Because I was like, I was doubling, tripling down. I'm like, maybe they didn't hear me, you know? <laughs> like, Middly. Mid laner. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so Alright, last question. If Lily is Ellen DeGeneres, does that make you James Corden? Is James Corden getting Corden getting cancelled as well? Is he? James Corden cancelled. 
Why am I Ellen DeGeneres? Uh, guys, if I got canceled, you guys would defend me, right? Because you're my friends. Did you guys know that Neil Patrick Harris had a corpse of Amy Winehouse made for a party? What? A, a corpse? Like a like a ice or like, like a wax a cake, sculpture? Like a cake base that's like resembling her a, corpse. Like a dead Amy Winehouse? Yeah, and I think he did this within um, two weeks of her dying. Oh, he threw I, like one of those Hollywood party, and one of the cake yeah. was made in her corpse. That's why weird. the fuck would you do that? How Where'd you get that information from? Where'd oh, you get that? Um, one of the party goers took a screenshot, like took a picture, what? uploaded it, and oh. pro like deleted it immediately. If you Google it, like Neil Patrick Harris, Amy Winehouse, oh. uh, corpse cake, it's there. Oh. Corpse cake. Images. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and like, he never got canceled for it because like, this is pretty early on and like, it was the leader right away. But recently, people have been trying to bring it up again. But I think because, you know, he's Neil Patrick Harris, like, people are just kind of like, shut, shut up, shut up, stop talking about it. Damn, that's a pretty bad cake. I'm looking it up. Oh, I can't find it. You probably. Oh my god. I mean, these oh. Hollywood types are. <gasps> oh my god. That is. Epic. Why would you do this? <laughs> yeah, that's such a. It's very, very little upside. You know, very little upside making a corpse of a person that you that just Why died. Why would you do this? <laughs> As a cake. Yeah. Bro, what led to that thought? Oh no, that's fucked. Hollywood people are kind of weird. I remember I went to this Hollywood thing and they... I don't know if this is like the correct term. And I apologize if it's not, but... Um, small people. Like, they've just brought them in as this kind of like... Mid-event entertainment. And I was just so taken back and like... Someone was talking about it. Oh, yeah, it's because the director of the event, he, like, thinks it's funny. And I'm like, this is crazy. So this is this is crazy, right? Uh, like, is this normal? <laughs> like, you're having, like, a fucking existential moment where you're like... Yeah, it's like, is this is how this... Hollywood people just, like, do entertainment? Am I perceiving this wrong? That's yeah. so oh fucking God, that weird. Is, that is so weird. That... I was expecting something more cartoony. Not something like that. Yeah. Oh, All wow. right. That's uh, going to do it for this sponsoring segment. Thank you, Madrinas, for uh, sponsoring us. If you want to yeah. order my coffee, go ahead and use code TOAST at, Uber code toast. at uh, madrinascoffee.com. And thank you to Lily Michael for doing part of it with me. I really appreciate it. Now we can play some video games. Yeah, send me some coffee. Mm -hmm. right. okay. Have you guys heard of chivalry before? No, you made me download this a week, few weeks ago. Yeah, I did. I did. It's a, it's a relatively simple game. Oh, Binky, what are you doing? Okay, okay um, is it, is it three player? That's Amy Winehouse cake. Oh, no, I don't Chivalry, chivalry two. Okay, chivalry. It's a tough cake. Mm -hmm. Chivalry, all right, getting on. 